Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Space suits have some pretty complex machinery inside them, and just like your car on Earth, they require a repair job every now and then. Scott Kelly and Tim Peake swapped out one suit's fan pump separator, a vital part of the life support system, which had experienced some problems back in December. It took several hours for them to complete the delicate procedure. Now that it's finished, the suit is ready for final checkouts before it is greenlit for future spacewalks. It's one of five U.S. suits currently on board. For most of us, the sun going down means it's almost time to sleep. But what if the sun set 16 times a day? The Circadian Rhythm Study is looking at changes to astronauts' biological clocks as a result of being in space. It uses a small device to measure changes in a crew member's core temperature to give researchers insight into their sleep patterns. Getting enough quality sleep is important for any job, but for astronauts, it's vital to keep them efficient and safe while they operate in some of the harshest environments humankind has ever traveled. As we continue to celebrate African American History Month, I'm joined once again by NASA astronaut Victor Glover. Over to you, Victor. Thanks, Dan. Every mission gets a lot of help from the teams on the ground, and there have been a select few people in NASA's history who were chosen to lead those teams. Kwasi Ali Barujo became one of those leaders when he was chosen as a NASA flight director. He came to NASA as a student employee in 1993 while finishing up his degree at MIT. Then, in 2005, he was selected for NASA's newest class of flight directors, becoming the first African American to lead the teams in mission control. And Quatsi was front and center as the lead shuttle flight director during NASA's final space shuttle mission in 2011, one of the biggest moments in the agency's history. Thanks, Victor. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week. <laughs>